Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. I am back on YouTube, as you can tell. Um, there are going to be a little bit of changes on my channel. It's going to be a little bit more raw, unfiltered type of videos. I think a lot of times we get on YouTube and we tend to dress ourselves up to be the best we can possibly be. And which that's great because it gives you a chance to play with your makeup and do everything. However, I feel like that puts some pressure on us sometimes. So I am going to be coming on my channel with no makeup on like today and sitting very casually in different places in my house. I might come on with makeup on. I might come on with no makeup on. I might come on completely dressed up. I might come on in my PJs. Either way, I feel like I want to change my channel to where it's a little bit more raw, a little more unfiltered so that it just feels more real. I want to be real with you guys because I don't run around with makeup, a full face of makeup on every day. And I don't know about you guys, but that's just, it's too much effort. So today's video is actually going to be a what's in my makeup box because I have not done YouTube for a while. So I do have a makeup box that I keep on my vanity area. And what I tend to do is anything I'm using, I kind of throw it in that box. And then I can tell you guys a little bit of information about those products and whether or not I like them, whether I'm going to keep them. So it's kind of like a way I can declutter at the same time. So we're going to jump into this after this long winded introduction. But like I said, hopefully you guys like this style of video better where it's a little bit more, I don't know, I just, a little bit more me. I feel like that's the best way to put it because I feel like before, not that I was faking, but I feel like I tried to be the best me I could possibly be on every time I did a video. And that's just, it's a lot of pressure on yourself. And let's be honest, there's so much pressure in the world today to do all kinds of things that we don't need that extra pressure. Nobody needs extra pressure. So let's just jump into here. So anyway, I have lots of palettes in here. I have lots of foundations in here because I've been trying out all kinds of things. I would lift this up and show you guys, but it's, I don't know, let me see if I can lift it. Oh my gosh, holy smokes. It's really heavy. Here's everything that's in my makeup box that I have been using lately. So it is a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and start into some of these things. I can tell you guys about them and whether or not I'm gonna be keeping them or decluttering them. So let me grab, I have a basket too over here. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this basket here. It's just a, a redone basket. I'm gonna use that to put anything that I decide not to keep. I'm gonna put that in there. So I have foundation here. This is the Smashbox Studio Fix 24 Hour Hydra Foundation. I actually really do like this foundation. It's really nice for my dry skin. I think I got the wrong color. I got 2.18, which is light medium. I feel like I could have gone a little bit lighter. I'm very pale right now, so I feel like I could have definitely gone a little bit lighter. But I do like this foundation, so I'm going to hold on to that. I feel like it works really well with my dry skin. The next one is... Got no top. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, which they don't, I don't think they even make this one anymore. So they started, they came out with a new foundation for Makeup Forever, which I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard some reviews on it. So I'm not sure I want to try it. I don't know. So anyway, this is the Ultra HD. This is actually pretty good. It's not perfect for dry skin, but I do make it work because I usually hydrate my skin really well. So if I hydrate my skin really well, then it works fine. The next one is this one right here. I knew you guys, I got this like extremely too dark. This is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. I don't know what I was thinking. I got it in shade eight. And I was like, why did you get such a dark shade? I love the foundation itself, but my sh the shade that I chose was extremely too dark, which works out good because I do have foundations that I have purchased that are way too light. So I can kind of mix those and like make a foundation for myself that works better. So I do love this and I'll keep that one as well. The next one I have is the Sephora Best Skin Ever. This is the anti-pollution foundation. I got this in the shade 20N. Um, this works really well as well. So all the foundations I've gotten here, oh, there's a couple. There's a couple that I'm not gonna keep. So this one works really well as well for my dry skin. So I like that one. Then we have the Christian Dior. This is the Forever Skin Glow. Yeah, Forever Skin Glow, I was like, is that right? Foundation, I got it in the shade 2N, and this works really well as well. This is a really good shade match for myself as well, so it matches really well. 
it is very good for my dry skin. I would say that if you have even maybe more normal skin, I think you could work with it as well. Then I have the LYS. This is the Triple Fix Serum Foundation. This one works very well as well. This one's not super expensive either. So if you're looking for a foundation at Sephora that's not super expensive, I would definitely check this one out because it's a good price. Then we have this one right here. This is the Derma Blend. This is the CC Cream Continuous Correction Cream, and I have it in the shade 37N Medium. I don't know. It works. This is a very, 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 very full coverage foundation, though. So this foundation will give you, this is like if you want to cover tattoos and stuff like that, it's a really, really full coverage. It says CC Cream on it, but it is a very full coverage, even being that. So let me show you guys. It is very full coverage. So I just put just a dab on my hand and it literally is covering up all of my veins. So it is very full coverage. And this is the CC cream. If you purchase the actual, the actual Derma Blend foundation, it's even more pigmented and you can cover up even more issues with it. So I do like this one and I do recommend this one. It is a little bit drying and even though it's a CC cream, it is a little bit drying. Then I have the Hourglass palette. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Mini. I use this almost every day. I love the bronzer in here. I love the blush in here. If I want a more orange blush, if I'm looking at doing that, what I'll do is mix my bronzer and my blush together and it makes it a little bit more orange toned. I love the highlighter in here, the setting powder or like the ambient lighting powder, whatever it's called. It works really well as well. So I love all of the powders in this. This is definitely a keeper. Then I have the Too Faced. This is the Christmas coffee palette. Here's what it looks like. It's filthy. I have used this quite a few times already and I really like the colors in here as well. I just wish it would smell more like Christmas. I don't really smell anything in it. And I thought it was because before I got sick and I was like, well, maybe it's because you're sick, you can't smell it. Nope, you can't smell anything in there. So, unfortunately, it is a good palette, but you just can't smell anything. Let me see if I can fix the lighting. I feel like it's giving me a lot of shadow here. Hopefully, the lighting's a little bit better now, so let's continue on. My box is still pretty full. We have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. This has SPF 50 in it, so if you need a foundation that has a good SPF, which it's nice when makeup has, founda has foundation. <laughs> that makes sense. It's nice when makeup has a like SPF in it. However, you should still use a regular sunscreen along with it because this is just not going to work as well as what a plain sunscreen would by itself. So definitely still use a sunscreen with this. I have mine in the shade Neutral Tan. This is good, but it's not my favorite of the It Cosmetics. I feel like It Cosmetics, the Baba or the CC Cream, what is it called? CC, I think it's just the CC Cream. Either way, I really like that one a lot better. Then we have the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue. This is really nice as well. I love the way this looks on my skin. This is in the shade Shell Beige. So this one works really well for dry skin as well. Love that. Oh, I've, got a lot. I've been using a lot of foundations. Okay, here's one I do not like. So this is the Kat Von D. This is the Good Apple Foundation. It's in the shade Medium 039. I used this one time and I hated it so much on my skin that I was like, no, never again. So this is actually going to be decluttered. It does not look good on my skin. It's too thick. You put it on, it's almost like wearing a concealer for your whole face. But even as a concealer, I feel like it's even too thick for that because my concealer, when I put it on, I want it to be light. Still give you coverage, but be light, you know what I'm saying? So this is just way too thick, so bye-bye. And then I have a AOA Slumbrow Pencil. You guys know I switched to using these because, first of all, they're $1. Second of all, I think they do a fantastic job. So I don't think you need to go out and spend $20 on an eyebrow pencil when you can get one for a dollar. So definitely try these out at the Shop Miss A like website. Then we have the Embryo Lease. This is the Embryo Lease Lot Cream. I love, love, love this. If you've never tried it and you have dry skin, I 150% recommend it. It works so well for dry skin. It is great for moisturizer. It's great for a primer. It's also, it can be used to remove your makeup. So it's like a, like your pre-makeup remove, like your pre, 
cleansing. So you can use it to remove all your makeup off. So when you travel with this, this is a three in one product. I absolutely love this and I will purchase this forever. It is so, so good. Then I have the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. This one looks like this. This one is actually really beautiful as well. I love all the shades in here. I feel like they blend really well. I have no issues with them. I don't know, why am I smelling all my palettes? <laughs> it's not like all of them have different scents. Either way, this is a really good palette. I think it works really well. It's very, it's got a lot of like berry tones in it. So if you like the more berry tones, I think you would definitely enjoy this. So that one is a keeper for sure. Then I have the Madison Reed. This is the Great Cover Up Root Touch Up or Brow Filler. So here's what it looks like. I tried it out and it is way too light for my brows. It just doesn't look good on my brows. It does no job. It doesn't cover anything whatsoever. So for me, this just doesn't work. So I'm going to pass this on to see if it'll work for somebody and my, see if somebody can use it that has maybe lighter brows. My brows are pretty dark for being, although I don't know what color my natural hair color is. So I can't say that it's supposed to be like, I guess like a dirty blonde. I don't know. Then I have the Giorgio Armani. This is the Neo Nude True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation. This one works really well as well for dry skin. So if you're looking for another great foundation that works well for dry skin, this is a winner winner chicken dinner. Then we have the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love this. I love anything super hydrating and it's going to make my makeup last longer but not be... I don't know, like certain, I've tried so many primers over the, over the years that I feel like there are certain ones that I know for sure are going to definitely work. Like this one works 100% of the time. I've never had an issue. It smells amazing. It smells like citrus. I have used the tar out of this one. This is so good. I do not dip my fingers in it. I have purchased those little like plastic like scoops or whatever. I purchased those to use to scoop this out and it works fantastic. So I love that. Then we have the Tatcha. This is kind of old. It's probably no good, but I'm gonna still use it because I do like it like once in a while. I don't love it all the time. It's one of those that I use only occasionally. So you can tell I've used a lot of it, but just for as long as I've had it, not enough to where I feel like I should. It doesn't smell bad. So I don't feel bad using it. So it's not like I'm like, oh my gosh, it smells old. It doesn't. So this is great for like filling in, like if you have really defined pores or if you're trying to cover, like I have a lot of like sunken areas in my skin from having a lot of acne issues. It works really well for filling in any kind of spaces like that. It's not going to fill in your wrinkles. It doesn't do that, but it will fill in like pores and like any kind of texture, like from like acne scars and stuff like that. It'll fill it in a little bit. It's not going to be perfect, but it does a pretty good job. So I really like that as well. Then we have the Shielded. This is the Face the Day Purifying Mist. I don't think I even like this because I remember trying it like twice and I was like, it's okay. So I'm just gonna toss that, <laughs> not toss it, but put it into the um, declutter bag, basket. Then I have the Clarins. This is the Mascara, mascara Super Volume. This is so fantastic. I actually really love this mascara. I don't know how many times I've purchased this, purchased this mascara, but it just works so well and it smells so good. It smells like flowers. This one's almost dried out as well, so I'm probably gonna have to purchase it again, but I just looked on Sephora, no, Ulta's website and there's, it's sold out right now, so I can't purchase it right now. So I'm just gonna have to figure out something else that'll work. And then I have the Anastasia. This is the cream bronzer in amber. I don't like this. It doesn't work well for me. I tried it out several times and I just don't, I can't get it to work for my skin, like type and texture. I feel like it kind of sinks into like, because I do have those scars from acne and stuff, it sinks into there and it almost makes it look like I'm putting craters into my skin. So I don't like that. I'm going to pass that along to somebody else or just declutter it period. Then we have the RMS Beauty. This is the Reevoke Radiance Looking Primer. This is really nice because it gives your skin like a nice, almost like the Becca Under Eye. Uh, oh my gosh, what was that one called? I can't remember. Anyway, it was a Becca primer that you could use that would help with like making your skin look radiant like underneath your makeup. This pretty much does the same thing, so I really like that as well. 
Then I have the Anastasia. This is the foundation. It's the, the Luminous Foundation. I love this as well. I think I have the wrong shade though. I got it in 260N. It's a little dark for me right now, but with summer eventually coming around the corner, I think it'll work eventually a little better. And I can always mix it with a lighter foundation until then, which is what I've been doing. Then I have one of my holy grails. This is the Natasha Denona Blackest Black Gold Rust, like little single. This is just an eyeshadow. It's like a big pot of eyeshadow. I use it for liner though, especially in like the waterline. And then it just, I think it looks so good, even though it bleeds a little bit, actually a lot, it bleeds a lot, but I think it just looks so good. So I love this. This is going to be in my collection until I've used it up completely. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here, guys. We have the Milani Fruit Fetish Make It Last Kiwi Watermelon Scented Setting Spray. I don't like this either. I feel like it does an okay job, but my favorite setting sprays right now, which I left them on my vanity, is the Benefit and the, hang on, I'll have to go grab them. I'll have to grab them here in a minute, but it's the Benefit one that Tati, Tati recommended before, so I really love that one, but that one is just okay. Then I have this little stack. This is a melt stack. This is the Melt Light Medium Contour Powder. Oof. <laughs> so it has all these different colors in here. This works fantastic. So if you are looking for a way to be able to like bronze yourself up and contour your face really well and be able to access everything very easily and have it all like different shades for yourself, these melt stacks work fantastic. My hair looks like poop. Let's see if we can fix it a little bit. Now it just looks like a mop of poop. We have a mop of poop on my head. That's so awesome. Then we have the Little Rock Dewy Canvas Prep. I don't know, I've tried, I think I liked it and then I didn't like it. So right now I'm in the, I don't really like this like stage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. I just don't feel like it does a great job for my skin. It's not something I reach for. If I'm not reaching for something, then it needs to go. So bye-bye. Then we have the Patrick Ta. This is the Major Dimensions Eyeshadow Palette. I feel like, did I see two of these? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I hope I didn't buy it twice. That would be crazy. Here's what it looks like. It's just a very neutral palette. So if you're looking for some really nice neutrals, this is fantastic. So I'm going to hold on to that one. The palette itself is like super fingerprinty. Like it gets fingerprints all over it. So if that bothers you, then don't get it. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to get comfy here and I keep like hitting stuff. Then we have some Natasha Denona palettes. So we have three of these little palettes, right? Whoops, nope, I think there's four. This one's even smaller. We have four of these small Natasha Denona palettes. This one here is the, holy smokes, how do I read this? Mini Metropolis palette. So here's the Mini, Metro Mini Metropolis palette. There's what it looks like. I think the colors and everything in here are fantastic. I love Natasha Denona shadows. I've never had an issue with any of them. This one is the Anya. There's the Anya palette. And then we have this one right here. It's a lot more bolder colors. This is the Coral palette. And then we have this one right here. I love the teal. Oh my gosh. This is the Jubilee palette. I love all of these. These are all staying in my collection. Then we have the Rare Beauty palette. I do not like this palette at all. I find it hard to work with. I don't find that the shadows blend very well. I find that they're not super pigmented. It's just, it's not my cup of tea. So that one's going. And then I have a Patrick Ta blush. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love Patrick Ta's blushes. I think they make fantastic blushes. So definitely keeping that. Then we have the, ooh, who is this? Did I use this? I'm scared, like some of the stuff I'm not sure I used. I have to look at, oh yeah, I used this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Instant Eye Palette. So this one here is like set up in sections. So like here's an eyeshadow set, here's an eyeshadow set, here's an eyeshadow set, and here's an eyeshadow set. So this one says Love Eyes, Power Eyes, Happy Eyes, and what does that say? Confident Eyes, I think is what it says, I'm pretty sure. So there's four different ways you can look like pat, like looks you can go with, or you can combine them in any way you want to. You don't have to use it that way. So I love that palette as well. 
Then I have the Too Faced Forbidden Fruitcake palette. These are so freaking cute. I love the tiny little palettes right here from Too Faced. I just think they're absolutely adorable. Here's what it looks like. I am definitely keeping this. Does this smell like anything? That would be really weird if it smelled like fruitcake though because I don't think many people like fruitcake. So anyway, that's really nice. Then I have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I don't think I've ever seen or heard anybody say that they do not love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So I am no exception to that rule. I love the Lip Sleeping Mask. Definitely keeping that. Then we have the Rare Beauty. This is the, what is this called? Oh no. It's called the Taupe Shape and Fill Duo. So in here you have two different little powders. You have a teeny tiny little mirror. And then on the side here, you have this little brush that you can pull out. So it's all in one. It's great for traveling. So if you're traveling and you want to do your, your eye, your brows, this works well. I love the way this works on my brows. It does do a good job of giving you a lot of like color payoff versus her palette. Like her palette has almost hardly any color payoff. This just is fantastic. Then we have the Rosewater Glycerin Hydrating Facial Mist by Heritage Store. I think this was like in a sample Sunday. I liked it, but not enough to continue using it. So I'm gonna pass that along. Then we have the Lorac Holy Lash. I don't remember this one. Oh, yes, I do. Look at the wand on that one. Oh, that one's, uh, no. That one's going, that'll go to the trash because I do not pass along mascara. Excuse me, I do not pass along mascaras because that's just a no-no. You don't do that. But that one is not good because I do not like the wand to it. I think the wand is a little bit crazy, so it's just not for me. Then we have a NARS palette here. This is the NARS Summer Solstice palette. So this is everything I've been using. Do you? Can you believe all of this has been sitting on my vanity and I've been using all this? Like not, not like every day. I don't use all these things every day, but like just randomly. So here is this palette right here. It is absolutely beautiful. I love this one. So keeping that one. And then we have the Anastasia Norbina collection. I don't, there is another Patrick Ta palette here. Holy smokes. Is this the same one? This one says... Okay. This one was Major Dimensions. This one's Major Headlines. I thought I saw two of them. And I'm like, wait a minute. Am I losing my mind? Are you? <laughs> So here's, oh, this is blush. That's why. Oh, crap. The plastic thing just fell off. That's awesome. So here are the blushes because the top ones technically, but the way I'm showing it to you right now, it would be the bottom ones. These are like cream blushes and the top ones are powder blushes. These are fantastic. I can't believe I just broke this. Nice, Tiff. Anyway, I'm definitely keeping this as well. Oh, I hear it moving again. <gasps> Crapper. I'm going to have to see if I can fix that somehow. That's not cool. I don't know how the heck I even broke it. Okay, well, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it then if it's going to break that easy because I don't, I am not rough with my makeup or anything, so I'm not sure how that happened. Then we have a Natasha Denona Zendo palette. So here's what this one looks like. This one here I have used quite a bit. As you can tell, I've been using this one. I feel like a lot of times when I do makeup, I pull this one for some reason. This one and another one I'm going to show you, I feel like I pull quite frequently. I love the colors in here. I love the color combination in here. So I'm definitely keeping that one. Then we have a Hip Dot palette. This is the Hip Dot. I've never even used this one. It's like super colorful too. Okay, this one will go back onto my desk or my vanity to be used. Actually, pretty sure that I didn't even use this last time. I'm going to pass it along. I feel like it just keeps getting recycled and I'm not using it. So I'm just going to pass along because I'm not using it for some reason. It must not call to me. But this one I have been using quite a bit. This is the Hocus Pocus Gather Around Sisters palette. I use this one quite a bit as well. I love the color combination in here. I feel like maybe that's what it is. I like the more warmer. I don't know. And those colors just maybe just didn't call to me. I don't know. Either way, and if I'm not using it, it's time to go. Then I have the ABH Norvina Collection palette. So this is the purple one. I don't remember using this. I'm gonna have to put this one back in my vanity. That's why I was looking at it so weird. I'm like, I don't know if I use that or not. I'm just gonna stick it back on my vanity and, and try to use it more. 
This one I know I only used a handful of times, so I'm going to use it more as well. This is the Melt palette. This is the Melt, um, what is it called? Melt. Oh, here it is. Amor y Mariposa. So here's what the packaging, like the um, outer carton looks like. And here's the palette itself. Here's what the colors look like in the palette. As you can tell, I've only used it just a couple times, so it's not like I've been able to be able to tell you a full story on whether or not I like it or not, so I'm gonna use that a little more. Then this is the Jaclyn Hill Rouge Romance Blush Palette. This is really nice, but they're super, 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 super pigmented. So if you use those, definitely go in with a light hand. Know that you can go from zero to clown like instantaneously, so unless you don't mind clowned, clowned clown and it's okay then we have the rose quartz palette from huda beauty this one is absolutely beautiful i remember looking at it online and being like that looks so i don't know i was just like not interested my foot fell asleep <gasps> holy smokes so i was just not interested and when i saw it online and then when i got it in person i'm like I'm just telling you, no matter what you see in the camera or what you've seen online, you have to see this one in person. It just, it just does something for you. It is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to be using this one still. I love this one. I'm not going to put it back on my desk because I already have two bigger palettes that I'm going to be like kind of using again. So I don't think I need three bigger ones because I already know my feelings on that. I love it. Then I have the Hip Dot. This is the Sun Goddess palette. This is just some blushes. I think I'm going to pass that along with whoever gets the Hip Dot eyeshadow palette. So I'm just going to pass that along. Then we have the Witching Hour by Hocus, by ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette. I don't think I used this one. Yes, I did. Once. I used it once. So I'm going to keep this one though because first of all, it's like to me, it's a kind of collector. Second of all, I feel like I'll definitely pull it out like this Halloween. So I will still use it. Oh my gosh. I need to stretch both of my legs out. All right. Let's see. Oh, here's another foundation. This is the Bite Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. Let me tell you, I'm looking a little, let's see if I can fix you a little bit. Let me tell you, this foundation is so amazing if you have dry skin. I have almost used this one completely up. I love the way this looks on my dry skin. So if you need something for dry skin, this one is another one that I would definitely recommend. Then a bronzer that I absolutely love, of course, like it matches my room. So why wouldn't it? No, that's not why. No, this, this bronzer is fantastic. This is the Gucci bronzer. It's very, you know, pinky out, but it's so good. It is so good. This is the Poudre de Beauté. I think I butchered that a lot. Either way, it's fantastic. I have two of these in here. You guys probably know why. I love this. This is the Becca Brightening Under Eye Setting Powder. This is my favorite under eye setting powder, under powder period. I probably could go through all of my powders and just go ahead and get rid of them all and keep this one and any hourglass. I love hourglass and I love this one. I feel like they just do such a better, they just do a fantastic job. Then we have the Al Grown Alchemist. This is the Age Repair Moisturizer. This is really good as well for dry skin. So it, to me, it's kind of comparable to the Embryo Lease. Not exact, but very comparable. So if you have, maybe you got this in like a boxy charm or something, definitely play with it because it's really good, especially for dry skin. Then we have the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. <laughs> this one's really good. If you like the smell of coconut, you're gonna love this. But if you don't like the smell of coconut, you're probably gonna hate it because it's super, like it's very pungent of coconut. So I love it. I'm definitely gonna be using it more. Then I have another highlighter. I thought it was bronzer for some reason. This is one of my favorite highlighters. And I don't even think they sell it anymore, unfortunately, but it's so good. This is the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. Let me show you. This is just absolutely gorgeous. What? Look at that. It's not too flashy. It's not too dull. It's just the perfect combination. It is absolutely fantastic. I love, love, love this one. I have another grown alchemist. As you can tell, I use this one quite a bit as well. So as you, you can see the things I love the most because I use them a lot. Here's the lid to the benefit. <laughs> Here is, of course, my favorite um, concealer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. They do not make this anymore. 
I think I have one thing left of this, which makes me so sad because I still have not found the perfect concealer for me because I do have such dry skin. I have a lot of like uh, wrinkles under my eyes. I just I haven't found anything. I haven't found my favorite. Then we have the MAC Magic Extensions Mascara. I do not like this mascara whatsoever. It just doesn't work for me. It doesn't give me anything. It just colors my lashes. It doesn't do much more than that. So I'm gonna be getting throwing that one away as well. Then I have the Marc Jacobs Mascara. This one is very, very good. I love the way this works for my lashes. This might be old though. No, it's still juicy. So I can still use that one. This one works really well as well. Um, what is this? This is the B10. What the heck is this? B solo. I don't know what this is, guys. Oh, it's the one that, like it's like a really tiny one. And then you put that one back in and open here. And it's one like that. It, ugh, I don't like the wand. Bye bye. The wand. No. No, no, no. We have the Kat Von D. I ended up purchasing this. This is the Kat Von D uh lightweight full coverage concealer. I'm trying this out. I can already tell you I don't love it as much as I love my Urban Decay. It's definitely not there, but it's working okay for like covering any kind of acne marks I need to cover because it's not like the, the skin under your eyes. The skin under your eyes is completely different than the skin on your face, so it works okay. We have the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is fantastic. I will definitely be keeping that. We have the Merit. This is the Merit like lip product. I have a couple of these, I think. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Okay, either way, this is really nice. I love this color as well. This color is so pretty, so I'm definitely keeping that one. Then I got this because of my friend Lashes Tony XO. This is the Hangover Pillow Bomb, and it's in the scent of Banana. Oh my gosh. I don't love the texture to this because I feel like it's very thick and um, I feel like it could be thinner. I don't know. That's just my opinion. It's just something about it I don't love like when it's on my lips, but I don't care because it smells like bananas. And if you guys know anything about me, I love banana anything. So I will still use it. Then we have the Bare Minerals Bare Skin. This is the Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I don't remember eating this. So I'm gonna have to put that one to the top to try again because I feel like I haven't tried that one enough. Then we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is like a bronzer or a contour. I love this for contouring my cheekbones. It works fantastic. It does not work the same as the this one here. These do not work the same whatsoever. This one, like like I said, it feels like I'm making like it sinks into every single like divot I have on my skin. This does not do that. So they are definitely different. One is definitely better than the other, in my opinion. This is the Patrick Ta lip product. I can't lie to you guys. I can't see these words. So <laughs> I'm trying. I don't know what it says. But either way, here's what the color looks like. It is very pretty. If I can figure out the color, I'll list it in the comment or the description box below. Then I have a Clinique product. This is the Clinique ACI. So here's what it looks like. It's got like a little red tip here and it's just like a chapstick. It works really well and has a little bit of color to it. This is really cool. I saw it on TikTok and it works really well. This is the Daryl, Daryl, Daryl. It's like a lip plumper. If you want your lips to look plumper, this definitely works. You can get it on Amazon. It's super inexpensive. So I definitely recommend it. There's two parts here. I don't remember which part is what. I just kind of throw them on. I'll be honest. I can't remember which one goes first, but either way, it'll show you in the box when you buy it. So if you want something that'll plump your lips, that works. It is a little bit stingy, like a typical lip plump it would be. Then we have the Clarins Instant Concealer. Oh, I do remember. I really like this one. This one works pretty well. So hold on to that one. Oh my gosh. We have quite a few more things to go, not quite a few, a couple more things to go through in here. I'm trying to pull out all the pencil, pencil style products quick. So make it a little bit easier here. Okay, this I know I can get rid of. This is the Gerard Cosmetics um, Eternal Eyeliner. It does not work for me. It bleeds. That would go to the trash. <laughs> not into the donation pile. 
Then I have the Hourglass Lip Products. This is so cool. I love the way this is shaped and everything, and it's a beautiful color, so I'm definitely keeping that. Another AOA um, brow product, the Ico Black Magic. This works really well. The Roller Lash Eyeliner. This one's in like a brown, so if you don't want a black, then this works well. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Metallic Eyeliner. I don't like that. Dang it, I keep throwing it in the basket. That one gets tossed. Then we have the NYX Lift and Snatch uh, Brow Thing. This works really well as well. The Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. Keeping that, I love that. Another Lift and Snatch. This is the Epic Ink Liner. This works so well. To me, it's very comparable to the next, the Kat Von D one. So if you want the a good eyeliner that doesn't bleed and doesn't transfer, the NYX Epic Ink Liner or the Kat Von D are the two that I personally would recommend. Then we have the Kajar Weiss Weiss Mascara. Why does it smell like pool water? This smells weird. I don't know about that one. I need to try that with this one a little bit more. I have a couple Bobbi Brown lip products, so I have these four here. So we have that color, which is like a, uh, I don't know, it's like a plum. It says extra, it's bare blackberry. These are not like lip sticks though. These are just like lip tints. So they're not gonna like, it's not gonna be that dark on your lips. Then we have this one here, which is bare nude. Their nude is like more of a peachy or like an orangey shade. They're great for just, but I don't like like bright, bold lipsticks typically. So these are perfect for me. This is Bare Raspberry. And there's Bare Raspberry. And then we have, let's see, we have Bare Pink. Bare Pink is just a very pale pink. So there's Bare Pink as well. All right, we're getting to the nitty gritty now. Oh, we have a Mario palette. This is a makeup of Mario. This is the Glam Rosy Glam palette. This is so pretty. I do like this a lot. I think the colors in here are fantastic. I love this purple. This purple it has a shift to it, so it's so beautiful on the eyes. So definitely keeping that one. We have the Kiss the Planet Bally, Bally Balm. It's a sweet orange and coconut. This is definitely has some mint to it, so if you don't like mint, you're not gonna like this, but it works really well for just some sort of lip balm on your lips. We have the Fresh Sugar Lychee Hydrating Lip Balm. This is really, really nice. It's nice and hydrating. It's a little bit thicker, so I would say it's better for like the nighttime. It's not great for like daytime use in my opinion. Then we have Bobbi Brown. What is this? Oh, it's a concealer. I was like, what is this? I need to try that one a little bit more as well. We have Fenty um, what are these called? Champ Stamp Fantasy. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Either way, I love these. These are great because it's just basically a gloss with a lot of shimmer to it. Then we have the Item Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara. I need to try this one more. I think this is one by Addison Ray. It's a super tiny wand, which is great because I, I am not good with mascara wands. So that one will be good to try a little bit more. I'm going to stick it over here so I can try a little bit more. Then we have the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. It's just a little deluxe size. This works well, but it's not great for my dry skin. I'm gonna pass that one along. We have the Bobbi Brown Brow Enhancing Serum. Ooh, I don't know if I've used that yet. <laughs> All right, then we have the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. I do not like this whatsoever. This is really goopy. It comes out really thick. I don't know if I can show you or not, but it just, like, look. Look at that that's 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 a hot mess like how are you supposed to put it on your brows it's just no 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 bye bye and we have a couple more things here and then we're done guys we have the Laneige lip sleeping mask and this is in peppermint this one is really good I think this was like a Christmas one that I got that had like a different couple different ones that were scented so this one's really fantastic and we have the Whoa, I lost a piece off of here. This is a Pat McGrath and it's like falling apart, which is great. I feel like all the expensive makeup stuff's falling apart. Pat McGrath and it's in the shade Flush 6, Flash 6, Flush 6. I think it's Flush 6, but it's a really pretty color right here. I love that. So I'm definitely keeping that one, even though the packaging's falling apart. Maybe Tower 28. This is in the shade Cashew. This is really pretty. I feel like it's a little 
more brown than I love typically, but if you mix it with other things, then it works really well. Then we have the Lancome Lash Idol Mascara. Uh, I need to try that one again, see if I like it. I felt like it's been a while since I tried that one. So I'm gonna stick this one back over here. That's everything, guys. <sighs> I know, that was a lot. That was a lot in my makeup box. Like, look at this mess. Look, look. This is everything that came out of the makeup box. That's ridiculous. I don't know how I was thinking I was going to use all that because that's just, it's way too much. Either way, I did use it all, but just not all at one time. You know what I'm saying? So the only thing left in here are some little samples. And this goes with my Madison Reed little thing, and that needs to be put there. So now my pink container is completely empty. So I'm going to start reading figuring out some new things to play with. I am planning to do a foundation declutter. I can show you guys like a little sneak peek. Look over here. Oh my gosh, right there. You see all those foundations? Hopefully you can see. Let me see if I can move you just a little bit more. Look at all the foundations there. That's ridiculous. I know. So I'm gonna be doing a foundation declutter like really soon, but like I said, Everything on my channel is going to be a lot more casual, a lot more laid back. I'm going to do some lives and declutter lives. So you guys, hopefully you'll stick around for the way that I'm kind of changing my channel. I'll give you guys like a health update because I probably look kind of sick still. It's not that I'm sick. It's just that I'm still run down. So I'll give you guys all that information as well if you're interested in maybe a live or something. So anyway, that is it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for waiting for me to come back and watching today's video. I appreciate you so much. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later.